నువ్వు మళ్ళీ కాస్తుందండి థ్యాంక్ యూ అయినా ఆవిడి అభిజా అట్ట భాయి కైలా రాయ తమ పక్కు జీవ సంతోష్ వాడవు
Hello and a very good afternoon to everyone who have joined us live for the 6th match of the Foul League 2022 which has been played between Rising Student Club and the East Coast Railway. I'll just run you through the lineups today. The lineup for East Coast Railway goes like Saroj Pradhan, Nabi Braja, Rajkumar Ji, Niranjan Sardar, Lakshman Murmu, Sanatan Lohar, Hemant Das, Manas Behera, Sanjit Panna, Maheshwar Das, L.S. Shekhar Re, Umar Khan, Kesi Hansda, Arnab Maitri, Saurav Biswal, Mithun S. Rajesh Danpat, Arjun Samantre and the line up for in fact the starting line up for Rising Student Club is Siba Munda Rudra Prasad Pradhan Rakesh Oram Deepak Oram Majiram Soren Advin Tirki Chandra Mohan Murmu Jamir Oram S.K. Farid 
अरबिन लक्रा सुशील मंछोर भारत मुंडा आनंद ओरम रामाजान मुंडा सुमित ओरम Hello again. Thank you for joining us for the for the sixth consecutive match of the Foul League 2022. Shots been taken by the rising student boys, but way above the cross line. Uh, 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 Big a pardon. is the elite group in the foul league 2022 they are two quality sides playing against each other and they are playing their first match of the league goes for the shot it's a great save by the goalkeeper it's a lovely save by the goalkeeper Quite a bit of action within the first few minutes of the game. We've already seen two shots taken, but off target by the rising student boys. Well, thank you to the audience present present today. Even today we are experiencing a lot of people coming around. the barwadi stadium and witnessing this game yet again today it has started raining heavily an uninvited guest in every match the rain has never shied away from showing its presence and as you know it is going to get difficult and difficult 
ground. It is going to get slippery. It is going to get tough. Shots taken off target. Seem, it seems like the rain is waiting when the play whistle would go go off and it will come down. The rain looks more punctual than the referees and the players here. Just to avoid any confusion here, the boys in the blue and yellow are Rising Student Club and the boys... To a, uh, shots taken but off target. Just to avoid any confusion between the two goalkeepers of the team, they have want something else upon them but the goalkeeper for the east coast railway team is saroj pradhan who did a brilliant save just minutes ago It is raining quite heavily here. Yeah, this, this is the highest amount of rain we have yet witnessed. 
It's, we can barely see the players from here. getting really really difficult for the boys here Sanatan Lohar a Free King being uh, awarded to the East Coast Railway side Goes for the shot. Way away from the crossbar there. Maheshwar, Maheshwar Das couldn't do much with that free kick. The outfield is getting sl slippery slowly, slowly. It is very, is getting very difficult for the boys there. Very difficult to grip on such surface. Brilliant bit of defend, defend. Brilliant bit of defending there by the East Coast Railway team. They look look quite pumped up today. That's a wayward shot. I'd like to mention there are a lot of Santos Odisha Santos Trophy players who are playing with the Rising Student Club. One of them. is a brilliant talent. Has proven it time and again.
now the free kick being awarded to the east coast railway side must be hoping for a fruitful result this time around easily put away by the rising student defenders good bit of pass, passing game there going on easy easy might go for the shoot goes in misses it misses it by my let's say the players might be praying rain rain go away come again some other day it is raining cats and dogs <laughs> Good bit of challenge there. It's been nicely put away by the East Coast Railway defenders with the. The railway defenders are doing a command. as i was mentioning this is a sixth match of the prestigious foul league 2022 club and the east coast railway team the boys in the blue are the rising student club and in the red are the east coast railway the good challenge there goes for the shot easily into the hands of the goalkeeper Saroj Pradhan the goalkeeper doing a decent job for his side Foul League 2022 is going to be played between 29 teams, 29 participating teams. The, all of them are going to be played. All the matches, all the 75 matches are going to be played in the historic Parvati Stadium. They will be having one match on the weekdays and two matches. In fact, I'd say double headers on the weekends. all the matches will be will be going live on the official page of football association of odisha i'll be hoping to get more and more viewers and for your kind information will not be having any match tomorrow that's what the fixture fixture says will not be having any match tomorrow 
will be having two matches on Super Sunday. And that will be played between Sports Hostel Odisha versus the Odisha Police and the Radha Raman Club and the East Coast Railway. That will be played to, day after tomorrow, which is Sunday. I think the number 17 of East Coast Railway is down. Is needing some medical assistance there. El Shekhar Ray, the player. Looks vacant. Great save by the goalkeeper. Again. Great save by the goalkeeper again. Shiba Munda, the goalkeeper for the Rising Student Club, did a brilliant job from restricting it to be 1-0 on the favour of East Coast Railway. Jyoti Ranjan Swai, the referee for today's match, is officiating on the ground. He has also done a decent job till now. There barely any complaints till now from the officials. Cross shot that's been put away. Looked dangerous but couldn't. The shot's taken. Easily saved by Saroj Pradhan. I just saw an example how difficult it is. It is way too slippery. The groundsmen deserve great amount of appreciation for the way they have handled despite of the continuous rain every day they have done a fairly decent job to make it playable every day as you know as you know we have had six consecutive games the groundsman will also be having a relief tomorrow
That's a good ball. Looks dangerous. Shot's been taken, but straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. The East Coast Railway goalkeeper had been busy today. in for the Ryzen student team. Goes for the shot. Goals it. So the score stands 1-0. The rising student team is leading by 1-0 goals now. There was no defensive tackle whatsoever from the East Coast Railway team. It was easy work for the rising student boys. funny but it is trust me it is very difficult it is slipping like anything here so you can barely stand there these guys are managing to play it Again.
the right side has been the business end of the match i'd say we've already witnessed a goal and many shots taken by the rising student team the east coast railway goalkeeper did a fairly good job but unable to save the last one as the goal the score uh, they keep part in the goal, uh, score stands 1-0 goal the rising student team are leading it's a good ball good ball there goes in vain we are getting closer to the end of the first half I'll, i'll remind you again the boys in the blue are east uh, 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 beg your pardon uh, the boys in the blue are rising student it's a good 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 bit of defending good bit of defending i, I think the goalkeeper and the defend, defenders of the east coast railway have been busy very very with busy in this match nicely saved We've seen a lot, lots of shots taken by the rising. Hey, hey, Some bit of relief for the players as a. Rain has stopped. It has done the damage already. The pitch looks very wet. The ball is barely moving.
goes for the shot way above the goal post there aap to bhai yaar inse utar to samma mar ke inke sar pe aa raha hai amur hai amur hai to aa raha hai amur hai to aa raha hai no i don't know samma ke inse sar pe aa raha hai admention earlier they belong to the elite group of the fao league 22 or 2022 which is the diamond group now apart from the diamond group we have three other groups namely gold silver a and silver b so very nicely structured league teams have been divided into two divisions first and second there are 24 teams in the first division who are divided into four groups which i just mentioned the champion of the gold silver and uh, gold silver a and silver b group would be get uh, getting a upgrade in the upgrade in the um, uh, ranking and they'll be switching in into the superior group the half time whistle goes off and the score is 1-0 the rising student club is leading by one goal quite a tiring half for both the sides for the kind of rain we have incurred today at the barabati stadium walking off the ground they have also done a great job under these circumstances Sujit Kumar Patro who is the match commissioner for today's game association odisha page would be posting the kind of hits and likes we are getting every day on the live match timings
have had the highest viewership on the Sports Hostel versus Young Utkal club team. Uh, the match was played on the 6th of July. We had 5,189 post impressions. Which is which is which is great. I, uh, I think the, all the credit goes to all the football lovers of Odisha. No matter where you are, how you are, you're getting yourself ready, getting yourself available to watch the matches. This is the kind of support our players require, the players desire, I'd say. Till now uh, for today's game. So this is the seventh match. Oh, I beg your pardon. This is the sixth match of the Power League 2022. It's been played between the Rising Student Club and the East Coast Railway team. And the Rising Student boys are leading by 1-0 goal. Rising student club is one goal up and 1-0 is the score between the match played uh, 
pardon, the match played between uh, Rising Student Club and the East Coast Railway. And uh, the Antaryami himself is the uh, only goal scorer, uh, jokes apart. Antaryami Naik is the goal scorer for Rising Student Club. I think he's truly utilizing his Antaryami powers today. Down the years, it's a lot of developmental activities, infrastructural developmental activities going on. Just had an international cricket match here uh, in about 15 20 days' time on the 12th of July, it was played between India and South Africa. The match was a big success, though India uh, ended up on the losing side, but the match was a big success. delighted to say that uh, the uh, Barabati Stadium has incurred a sand-based outfield and uh, which is for the sustainability of the ground no matter how much rain but it will be better than how it was with the mud-based <coughs> outfield Despite of the rain, we are seeing a lot of football football lovers turning out in numbers to watch this encounter between the Rising Student Club and the East Coast Railway team. <laughs> the support has been persist persistent, and they are the one making this foul league to memorable. As I was mentioning, into the middle for the second half of this match.
hoping to have a equally entertaining second half as we had on the first. Off we go with the second half of match number 6 of foul league 2022 for exciting contest Arvin Lakra with the ball for the the rising student side he'll do the initial kick off duties here it goes The players look pumped up for the second half. Good bit of pass passing game going on here for the Rising Student Club. Uh, the Rising Student Club has it is it is not going to be wrong to say the Rising Student Club has had dominated the first half and looks the same in the second half around. Though uh, it will be unfair to give the credits to the East Coast Railway defenders and the goalkeeper, they have done quite a good job to keep the goal down. Shots been taken. Decent bit of work done by the rising student goalkeeper there. So as I was saying, it will be unfair for the East Coast Railway side to say that they haven't performed to their best. The defenders and the goalkeeper have done quite a good job to restrict the re uh, rising student club. Goes for the shot. Just above the goal post. Just above the goal post there. Decent shot attempted 
by Sanatan Lohar who was a bit injured on the first half of the game. There's a man down the He's limping. That doesn't look good from the East Coast Railway perspective. He's limping, he's out. Shots taken away, away from the goal post. Looks like he could challenge Farid with the ball. Passes it. Goes in for the shot. Again. That's way. That's wayward. That's wayward from Ardwin Tirke. So potential goal. Yet to be converted. Over ambitious by Advin Tirki there. Nice bit of work. Looks dangerous. Goes in with the pass. Goes in for the shot. Easily. Goes in again. There are several shots taken. But not one on target. Oh boy. The rising student side would be disappointed with this effort. There was surely a goal on the third time around.
It's a brilliant bit of work by the East Coast defender there. Nabed Raja did a lovely job. Keep that away from the goal goal post. No, there is no sign of urgency from the East Coast Railway side. It is very much similar to the first half. The rising student side have looked. East Coast Railway side. Goes in with the shot. It's a good bit of deflection by the goalkeeper. The East Coast Railway goalkeeper. As I have mentioned it more than 50 times. The goalkeeper. <laughs> Easily put away. Goes in with the shot. Again a good save. Saroj Pradhan. It's been a hectic day for him. But he has done very well. To keep it down to one zero goals. Goes in with the shot. Out of danger. Again, Saroj Pradhan. target and half of them were just Saroj Pradhan. Arvind Lakra will be taking the corner shot for the Rising Student Club. Thank you. 
Goes in with a shoot. That's been saved. That's been saved. Again, the defenders. They have done a brilliant job to keep this match alive and keep the Rising Student Club restricted to one goal. We are just seeing a strange side. We are just seeing a strange sight, in fact, of seeing the ball coming to the... Which is very, very rare as the Rising Student Club has been attacking. Looks like a possible threat there. Advin Tirki with the ball. Goes in with a shot. Hits the crossbar. Oh my, my. That was a goal. That was certainly a goal, but unfortunate. That was unfortunate. Scores remain the same. 1-0. The rising students are leading. Would have been 10-20 more, but thanks to Saroj Pradhan and some wayward shots, it's been restricted to one goal. for the East Coast Railway side. We have barely seen any attack from the East Coast Railway team. I think three or four shots taken on the first half and there, are, there were none in the second and already approaching the end of the second half. Goes in with the shot. Again, a great piece of defending. Number 12, taking, the, taking from number 12. Good battle going on. Arbin with the cross. Another goal, yet to be. The power pack performance from the rising student side.
Stretcher required this time around. Shaker Ray goes out and Casey Hansda for the East Coast Railway. Shaker Ray there is out on the stretcher. We again with the action here. Another shot taken. Wayward. Again, we were way away from the goalpost. This time around, it was Arbin Lakra. He's been. Is is he fine? Is he fine or is? So as you can see on the screen, the ex-Football ex Association of Odisha Secretary, Mr. Sanjay Behra, who is the current Secretary of the Odisha Cricket Association, is having a look at the match, enjoying it. Along with him, the District Secretary of Bhadrak District Association, Mr. Dhiran Pallai. Another shot taken, another miss. This time it was Anand Oram who missed it and he missed it by a mile. As I was mentioning, Sri Sanjay Behra, the ex-secretary of Football Association of Odisha, has done a lot of developmental work for the Odisha foot for Odisha football, let's say. And he is continuing his good work with the Cricket Association as well.
Goes for the shot, easily into the hands of the goalkeeper of Rising Student Club. Looks like a good opportunity here. Goes in for the goal. Is it? Is it? It's a save. It's a save. How close was it? How close was it? Sheer disappointment as far as the rising student are concerned. That was a sure goal there. We have seen a lot of shots taken and a lot of action on the left side of the field of play but yet to witness a goal in the second half. Many shots taken. It would not be wrong if I would say 20 or 30 shots but all gone in vain. Conversion rate hasn't been near to satisfactory for the rising student side. In with the shot again, off target again. Those who have joined us late, I'll, I'll like to inform you this is the sixth match of the Foul League 2022 and it's been played between the Rising Student Club and the East Coast Railway team. Is it a goal? Is it finally a goal? No, it's on offside. It's not a goal. It's not a goal. So, as mentioning, it's the sixth match of the Foul League 2022. It's been played between the East Coast Railway and the Rising Student side who belong to the Diamond Group of the league. And the goal score stands with 1-0. The Rising Student Club team is leading by 1-0 goals. And Antaryami Nayak was the goal scorer for them. True, in true sense, the Antaryami of the match. Saroj Pradhan is limping. Yes, yes. It'd not be wrong if I'd say he had saved fifteen to twenty goals today.
As you can see on your screens, as I mentioned earlier, it is the ex-Football Association of Odisha's secretary, Sri Sanjay Behra, has done a lot of developmental work for football since the time he was here. As a Shots taken again, off target. This has been the story all together for today. Shots taken and misses. Looks like a good challenge. Brilliant bit of work. Brilliant bit of work by the number three. Brilliant bit of defending by Deepak Oram of Rising Student Club. An all-out strike. <coughs> Excuse me. Good bit of defending there by the rising student side. Couldn't control their nerves at times. But anyway, managed to go low. Throw in for the railway side.
again a throw in for the east coast railway side and rising student are leading this is what is happening this has been the story of the day opportunities 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 everywhere but none been converted into one one i con into vein Barabati Stadium is the premier venue. September and two matches on the weekends. That is Saturday and Sunday. Coming back to the present match. The rising student team is leading by 1-0 goals, and we are into the final minutes of the game. As I was saying, it is very rare to find the ball on this this. half of the field it's a good challenge good challenge there goes in with the shot with the cross in fact again a save staroj pradhan my man in with a chance easily been put away by the east coast railway defender number 4 to be precised raj kumar that was defense defense two man down for student club third on his sin bone Hello hello Dekha jao 
Deepak Oram of Rising Student Club doesn't look good. He's out on the stretcher. His defending duties. Mr. Deepak Oram is has been ruled out. <laughs> Again, an opportunity that goes in. Finally, finally goes in. Number seventeen, Anand Oram. Goal for Rising Student Club. Shots and misses, shots and misses, shots and Saroj Pradhan, but finally they have managed to score their second goal. We are into the final minutes of the game. Scored one apiece for their side. One minute to go in this battle. One minute to go. Let's see what we have in store. Friendly banter there. In the last minute of the game. It's good ball again. Will he go for the shot? He does, and he misses. Even on the last minute of the game. The story remains the same. Two zero goals. The Rising Student Club have won this contest by two zero goals over the East Coast Railway side. Antaryami Nayak and Anand Oram being the two goal scorers for Rising Student Club. Thank you all for joining us for this contest. We, we uh, I like to give you some important information. We'll not be having any match tomorrow. We and we have a double double header on the Sunday. One match starting at 
that is being played between Radha Raman Club and the East Coast Railway team and one at 3.30 between the sports hostel team and the Odisha police team. So that's the story for the day. Thank you for joining us live. As I have mentioned, again I'll say there is no match tomorrow. We have no match on 9th of July 2022 of the Foul League 2022 and played between which which is going to be played between Radha Raman Club and East Coast Railway on 1.30 p.m. and another between Sports Hostel team and Odisha Police team at 3.30 p.m. Thank you all for joining us live. We'll be live again on Sunday. Thank you very much.